Hey guys, have you ever taken out a project and you have no idea what you're doing? Well, that's exactly what is happening today in this video. Um, this is our shed and the kids clubhouse. When we first moved in, this was here, this was not. So I ended up just framing in some walls around it and turn it into a shed, right? Well, now we are getting a pool and this thing has to be moved. So I rented a big forklift that hopefully will be able to lift this thing up and place it on some pillars that I poured and then we're gonna lift the shed, place it on the pad. It's gonna be interesting because I've never done anything like this. It's cold, it's windy, it's raining and I'm ready to go. So let's do this, let's have some fun. Welcome to the Comar Project. When I built this shed, I knew that at some point we were gonna have to move it. I just didn't know when. And I was in a bit of denial that I'm gonna actually have to move this thing. but the time has come and I gotta clean it out so that I can actually cut the clubhouse off of the shed and get it moved. Okay, so we got a bit of an issue. That's not gonna be fun. When I framed this last year, I wasn't thinking about when we move it, how am I gonna move it or whatever. So I framed it in the best that I knew. And these cross braces right here that run off of the posts, they are attached, let me see if I can show you guys, by these bolts, right? Not a big deal. I can back out most of them and we're good to go. However, here, there, I frame around those bolts. We're gonna have to bust out with some power tools and cut around all that stuff. I got them. I think that should do it. All right, so I think my first thing Maybe some sawzall action because I don't know what else to do. I knew I shouldn't have covered those bolts. Ooh, there's a last night of stuff here too. Sucker. I haven't fighting against these wasps for a year now. This year, they don't stand a chance. So I got some spray and stuff. Last year, I got stung in my arm, and then I grew a lump under this arm, and I almost passed out at Walmart. Yeah, you know, we had to go home, and I couldn't keep shopping for rugs. Very allergic, very. Whichever one it is. All right, so we just lifted up the clubhouse and there are some nails that are basically holding everything in place. You couldn't see them from the inside because uh, they drove them in. So I got myself a sawzall and we're gonna cut it off. And then we should be able to lift it no problem. We're gonna stick a couple of blocks in here and that way when we uh, pull up with the forklift, lift it up, shouldn't be any issues.
Okay, so we were able to get it down, but I don't know if the camera turned off yet or not. Um, hopefully I caught it on the other one, because this was stressful. Probably the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. My heart's still beating out of my chest, but we're, let's, let's just move it. Guys, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't think that that forklift was actually gonna hold that clubhouse because when we stuck the forks in, it only grabbed the first three joists. And even with the straps, I still have my doubts. But I couldn't voice them because my dad was working with me and he definitely had doubts. So one of us had to have a little bit of confidence to actually get this project done. We needed to get it moved and we were very lucky that nothing happened like, you know, the forklift tumbling over the clubhouse just falling off of it so if you're gonna be doing something like this or planning on doing something like this I would definitely hire professionals um, I do have some experience in this forklift but if you don't hire somebody be safe about it oh my god look at my yard absolutely terrible flip you around all right guys, so it's finally in its resting place and I'm so excited because this is one of the most stressful things I've done in a very long time and I do a lot of stressful things. It worked out really well. It's sitting on all of the pillars. This is going to be, I think, I don't know. To be honest with you guys, I don't even know what this is gonna be, but inside it's just, it's a shed, clubhouse, chicken coop, goat coop. Who knows what it's gonna be? But we're gonna make it very, very cool. So black siding, a lot of cool wooden trim around this thing. And this door, I wanna do something really cool because the shed that we're moving next, it's gonna have a rockin' door. I'm talking about sliding barn doors with some steel in them. I'm very excited. So let's go move that thing next. So the shed actually made it. I didn't drop it, I didn't die. Totally successful day. And let's go see inside because I don't know, I haven't been in there yet. I don't know if anything shifted or what. So let's go inside. Let me show you guys. Nothing in here moved. So I put in these uh, cross braces right there. And basically what these do is they just keep the walls from racking. It's just a two by four and they're screwed to the top of the walls and it just prevents everything from doing, you know, wonky wonky stuff because if they weren't in here, we probably wouldn't be able to move this thing. So I'm very excited. It, the floor, 100% solid. Yes, sir, we are, mm, we are good. We are good to go. Um, and I did have a design change. These doors, just regular old swinging doors, right? Not anymore. These bad boys are gonna be sliders. And I got some really cool old hardware that I've been saving for something. And I'm finally going to be able to use them on these doors. So I'm super excited. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that ding, 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 the bell notification thing. So you guys get notified when I upload the next video. Because the last one in this series is just going to be building out this shed and 
kind of encompassing everything. Definitely don't want to miss this one because there is a story here. There is a long, year-long story about how this shed came to be. So hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I love you guys. This is super fun. And I'll see you next time. Bonfire, baby.